not to machine pick from this side. A lot of it is hand picked. I mean, hence picked early in the morning. We try and make sure that the fruit doesn't get too warm. There aren't too many bruises on the fruit. So we get gangs of pickers in. parents migrated out to Australia in 1966. Though so in 2005 uh, I became responsible for our estate and our main objective was not to forget the enjoyment that having a uh, farm and certainly having a vineyard uh, did for us uh, and for generations in Italy. Um, and it basically was to uh, enable us to produce something that became not only a source of revenue but a catalyst for bringing the community and families together. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, it was planted out in um, uh, 1997, and, um, but ideal for what we wanted to do. In designing upon this site here, one of the um, other attributes was the position of the site and the, the fact that it has uh, a very natural uh, wedge formation to it, so we have um, quite a lot of uh, we basically have microclimates within the microclimate of the Yarra Valley. Nature has done more than enough um, in the whole process of making wines. Um, we're all there simply to guide it through the whole process and um, basically turn something out in bottle that is basically what nature wanted us to do. Uh, we're very lucky that the site here gives us the opportunity to be able to produce good fruit and hence be able to make very good wines uh, for um, quite a wide variety of people to enjoy. Pinot, Chardonnay and Shiraz are um, certainly the stalwarts for Calara Estate. Um, block selection on these varieties was uh, achieved very early so we're very, very happy with the results. Our state Pinot um, we think is it's all the uh, right buttons when it comes to cool climate Pinot soft and red berry fruit and um, almost some savoury tones to it. We're extremely pleased with, um, with how our Pinot is made year in, year out. We were very lucky to be involved with uh, House of Townend in the UK, distribute our Pinot and our Chardonnay. And um, it was a requirement, in fact, uh, through a discussion with um, House of Townend that uh, we developed our second brand, which was Races and Rascals. It is actually the name of a book that the Vintage Car Club of Victoria had brought out depicting the history of the club since inception. In 1946, the very first ever event of the club was the Kalara Park Quarter Mile Time Trial. Uh, the opportunity to uh, link the property and its history together on a label was too good to pass up. Now we have that label available not only in the UK but certainly right across Australia over um, several varieties including the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir and the Shiraz. It was predominantly a dairy farm prior to it being a vineyard so the remnants of the dairy sheds are around us. Um, what we did was convert one of those dairy sheds into what the family loved doing most and that was a, a place to host more people, um, invite people to our house, invite them to try our wines and then of course obviously the food that we have available as well. Um, that is what it really means to us to be able to produce wines. It's knowing that there's people sitting around a table enjoying what we're doing. They're basically mirroring what we're doing at home and we're doing on a daily basis. They're eating and drinking with other people. We have a policy here that we um, hardly ever say no to any booking because we will always, always find room for somebody else. It can't be that hard. Every day is uh, a pleasurable day for me. I just love getting up. Think wines, think food, think the business. Um, you know, let's face it, eating and drinking for a living is a remarkable way to not only earn for your family but actually work your days away. It, uh, it's a wonderful thing and it, um, it's second nature, certainly to, a, to someone of Italian heritage.